I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is my Raspberry Pi based home automation server. And basically this, as I detail in another video, is running a bunch of scripts that are pulling data from my various sensors and communicating with different components in my home automation system, like uh, hue lights and other kinds of things like that. Um, so one of the cool things about Raspberry Pi as a home automation server is that it's so small and so easy to set up that you can basically install it anywhere you want in your house. It doesn't have to be sitting in an office, and it can be powered on all day without using much electricity at all. But one of the challenges when you want to locate this in a random place in your house is, you know, how do you go about connecting to the internet? So on the Raspberry Pi you have this ethernet port, and it's really simple. You can just plug that into your router if you want to install the home automation server near your router. But another option, which I found works really great, is just to use a external USB Wi-Fi uh, card, like this one here from Rosewill. And you can get something like this for about 10 bucks on Newegg or on Amazon, and plug it directly in to the Raspberry Pi. And the most important thing is just to make sure that it is a Linux-compatible Wi-Fi card. There needs to be Linux drivers. But once you do have that, and this one works great for me, all you really have to do is plug it in, and then within the GUI, the graphic interface on the Raspberry Pi, you're able to just set up a Wi-Fi network. And I found once you get this set up, you can basically configure it to automatically connect to that network in the future. So if I want to put this anywhere else in the house, it's still able to connect to my network. And I could embed it in a project, I could put it close to sensors that it would be reading on its sort of low-level input pins. Um, I could put it outside if I needed to, or in a garage, and no matter where it is, as long as it's within Wi-Fi range, it can still connect to the internet and pull in data for my system.